The uh, Pavlo, the uh, MH53J. Uh, this side Tellery kit's not too bad. Uh, it's got raised panel lines, uh, molding on it's very crisp. Uh, I haven't even started on it yet. I just basically been looking over, looking over the uh, instructions and uh, see what I need to omit, what I need to add, and check my notes and everything that I've been told to build. But first, I'll start with the cockpit and get that all built. Uh, when I start and get the uh, inside of the uh, helicopter painted and the uh, inside of the, uh, the deck of the uh, cockpit. And that's probably what I'll start probably this weekend and then uh, get just rock and roll on it. And show everybody the progress as we go along. Uh, Batman. Uh, last I left off on him, I went ahead and... I uh, got the gray on him, which is basically two colors. I did get the uh, uh, Vallejo light gray, and I got Tamiya sky gray on him. And uh, after I, the light gray is a little dark, and then I went with the sky gray to lighten up the uh, suit. And then uh, when it's all said and done, I'll go back in with some oils with some uh, white and do some uh, basically some highlights of the suit. And I just blend everything in. I'll show everyone that once I get there. But after I got everything painted, the next step was to take Krylon Crystal Clear and seal him. And uh, this is just to uh, seal in. Even if it's shiny, it's fine. Seal the paint in so I could go in and uh, tape him up. And then uh, once I get him taped up around the trunks and the uh, uh, gloves, I'll be able to go ahead and shoot more of the blue on it you can see I did with the boots uh, when you use the crystal clear or a sealer it's just uh, any tape that you apply that doesn't you know just won't the paint won't come up if you seal it as you go along and basically you can paint one day uh, seal it let it dry for a day and go back and mask everything off and you're good to go just a little safe trick you know nothing nothing's worse than painting something and then taping it up and then pulling the tape off and you pulled half to paint up which that's just an easier way to do it so there's a little tip for the day i did get most of the uh, cape painted as i stopped last night until about that point but i'll go back in and uh, touch up where i missed and uh where i uh, left off but that is tamaya flat blue and i think that is a nice nice color which with metallic gray just uh, airbrushed on I think will give the shimmer of the uh, cape and cowl and gloves so that's what I got going on on Batman there uh, for the vacuum force kit on the back computers I'm going to do one big back computer and then I decided I'm not going to do a single one I don't really care for it I want to do a double of the bat analyzer so i'll get that ready to go this weekend and do some pulls and then the top part for the uh bat computer and then it'll be a three-piece kit and then if someone so desires you can slice them down the middle and make one two three four five piece kit out of it so that's what i'm uh got plan on for the uh bat computers what i got going on batman today and hopefully i'll get a little more uh taped up whenever i get in the uh, taping mood and then hopefully i can start the uh mh53 here and uh continue on so uh that's what i got going on so stay tuned for the next exciting episode